goals for season eight? The goals for season eight is finally bring full frontal nudity back to USA. Now. <laughs> Failed. Uh, we, well, yeah, you know, we constantly feel like we're pushing the envelope. We're doing something bigger and better uh, each season, and we want to continue to break new ground. And that was a challenge. I mean, once we've done the musical last year, we've done the we've done the crew inspired episode. We we done a hundred. You know, we've like really checked off a lot of the boxes. I think I've done a version of every Spielberg movie at that point. Yes, yes, you have. So it was uh, it was time for us to sort of say, all right, what is what can we do? that we've never done before. And Chris had the best and the first idea, which is why don't we remake, do a remake. And you know, what do we remake? It's like, let's remake one of our own episodes. So we're going out, we dug through one of the ones we thought was a little disappointing and uh, <laughs> maybe not as good as it possibly could have been. Well, for many reasons. It was we as good as it season. could have been no, at the time. fifth episode. Yeah, ever, you know, but we went back and, and it was an episode directed by a guy named Les Spiro who did a fantastic job on it. And it was us, it was sort of our execution of the script and the story and not really fully understanding the potential. Oh yeah, it was all Andy's fault. It was a shot in Super 16. Yeah. Ugly wardrobe. Yeah. So we looked at the whole cast list, and with the exception of the lead guest star, the character of Adam Hornstock, who's going through this problem, um, everybody else is, all the other guest cast are people that have been in sight one, once or twice or three times in different roles, and they're playing different roles in this one. So it's fun. It's really fun. Is there any other directors or genres you're trying to do an homage to? Because you've covered quite a bit. There's a little bit of uh, there's a little bit of an homage to homage to Guy Ritchie, just in terms of oh, that style of film. Which, by the way, I have to tell you. Doing all that fast cutting on that has been life changing for me. Whatever whatever I do beyond psych in the future, I have found one of the greatest storytelling tools that uh, I've ever been so fortunate as to get to use. And so, uh, you know, doing that was really fun. And, and as I wrote that episode, I had this whole idea we're going to go to London, we're going to do a British gangster thing, it's going to be really cool. And I, I got about halfway through it, and I'm like, hmm. It's very straightforward for Psych. And I, I said, well, what do I add to the mix to make it uniquely us? And I realized what that needed was Harry Potter. And putting those elements together was utterly stupid and ridiculous and perfect. It was when I felt the most useful on the show. They would come to me and they go, what kind of spell would you have? Oh my god, I'm a spell. So we got to do all that stuff, and I gotta tell you, everybody, everybody is, is so good, and, and bringing Carrie back in that episode uh, is really spectacular. Really right, because right. anytime Death Row is in, in the show, it's it's a lot of fun. So for me, it's you know, it's like it's a big toy box, and I always get to pull a new toy out of it. It's still not empty. <laughs> Already? Yes. Oh, yes. oh my god. Three would be the last. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> so we're sweating over four, five, and six. So we there's nothing truly official. We've tried to take these relationships. In eight years, they should get to somewhere. And, uh, you know, if, if we can continue doing it, great. If there's another way to continue doing it, whether we take the musical somewhere, if, we, uh, if we're able to do feature films, if we can, uh, if we can do some of that, we're excited to go because this, this is a great group of people. We have so much fun. We're not we're not in any loss for ideas and we love doing it and we're as, as excited as we are for new challenges uh, we, we love this group you know it, it'd be hard to say goodbye but um, we will and we'll, uh, we'll do it uh, with a smile on our face yes exactly thank you